the Astros inducted longtime executive Tal Smith, former guest on Houston Sports Talk, and 70s and 80s outfielder Terry Poole into their Hall of Fame. Were you a Terry Poole fan, Stephen? You know, I liked him. I mean, he was solid. I mean, he had a 280 lifetime batting average, and he batted leadoff most of the time. So, yeah, during that period, he was the Astros' leadoff hitter. So pretty respectable. I mean, I, I was glad to see him get in. I mean, he's certainly another all-around good guy uh, from Canada, of course. And, you know, he played 14 of his 15 years with the Astros, and the only two players who have played any longer than that with the Astros are the obvious ones, Greg Biggio and Jeff Bagwell. So, you know, Terry Poole hung around a very long time with the Astros, put up some pretty solid numbers. And, of course, you know, he was part of that first team that went to the playoffs in 1980. And I think the fear sometimes when you're doing this Astros Hall of Fame thing and you're you're trying to pick somebody every year is, okay, are we going to get desperate? Is everybody going to deserve it? Well, let me just throw this out there for those wondering what makes Terry Poole so special. And here, here's the resume. He had an 855 OPS and a 372 batting average in 13 playoff games. Big time right. clutch hitter. Big yep. time. Yeah. Hit 526 in the 1980 Phillies playoff series, which set a then NLCS record. Terry Poole's fielding percentage is the 18th best outfield percentage in the history of the sport. It wasn't just that he didn't make mistakes. He could cover ground in the Astrodome, too. He racked up 217 career steals. Really speedy guy. Smart base runner, as as you remember, Stephen. And he ranks in the Astros' top 10 in war, games played, and hits. And, oh, by the way, you mentioned Canada. He's a member of the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame. Well, you know, he patrolled center field about as well as anybody. And as you said, Robert, he was... He was the model of consistency, and no, I, I cannot remember one instance where Terry Poole dropped a ball that, you know, determined the outcome of a game. I mean, this guy was as solid as it gets. So, yeah, I'm I'm certainly happy that he got in, and I'm definitely happy Tal Smith got in. I mean, you talk about somebody that deserves it. Tal Smith certainly does and had several different times with the Astros. And, you know, my thing about Tal Smith is that no matter where he goes – the guy just wins, period. You're listening to Houston Sports Talk.